And I'm going to talk about three areas that if you believe these three areas, you will be standing against the tide. You'll be like a fish swimming upstream. If you embrace three, these three, what I think are biblical values, the world might very well reject you. The world might persecute you. The world might speak evil against you. The world might falsely accuse you if you uphold these three values, especially here in the United States of America. It would be easy as a Christian to be a cultural Christian. Yes, I believe in Jesus, but I will just go with the flow of least resistance. But I believe that God has called us to stand to stand. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. Right? Stand. So I want to talk about three areas. Using the word sanctify. Sanctify them, right? I want to talk about the sanctity of life, the sanctity of marriage, and the sanctity of sex. These three areas. That if you embrace what I think is a biblical teaching on all three, you will be having to stand against the current of this world, and you might face the rejection of this world. First of all, let's talk about the sanctity of life. The idea that life is sacred. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 teaches the sanctity of life. When, when the Lord spoke to Jeremiah, it says, Before you were even formed in the belly, I knew you and ordained you to be a prophet. Or Psalm 139, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Right? Life begins at conception. Jesus, who holds the keys of hell and death? Jesus does, right? What that means, keys is authority. He has the authority of death. Only God determines the person's time to die. Is it wrong to kill yourself? To take authority into your own hands and to end your own life? Yes, yeah, suicide is self-murder. It violates the biblical principle that only God has authority. It is appointed unto man once to die. God is the, in control of your life. And as a Christian, you believe that God governs your life, leads your life, and he has appointed the day for you to die. And for you to take life into your own hands is a stream act of self-will. The Bible even says not to destroy your temple. So if it is wrong to kill your own life, is it wrong to kill the life that's within you? Absolutely. The sanctity of life. And I want you to know, if you're a Christian and you believe that life is sacred, that God has authority, to, and only God has the authority to take life, then I want you to know that you will stand against the prevailing tide that says that a woman has a right to her own body to do with as she pleases. The sanctity of life. How about this, the sanctity of marriage? You can look at Matthew chapter 19, verse 4, when Jesus talked about marriage. And he said, in the beginning, he made them male and female. Male and female. Marriage is between one man, one woman, in a covenant relationship made before God and witnesses. And is supposed to last a lifetime. Those whom God have joined together, let no man put us under, Right? The sanctity of marriage. Now, if you're going to believe in the sanctity of marriage, that marriage is between a man and a woman for life, then I want you to know that you will stand against the tide of this world that is embracing what we call same-sex marriage. Sanctity. I, I want us to be culture warriors. Culture warriors. Not to be conformed to this world. Not to redefine marriage because the culture is redefining marriage. But our authority is Scripture. Not culture, it's scripture. What does the Bible say? We can argue all we want about theories of inspiration, but we cannot argue as born-again believers that the scripture is authoritative. And we must live our lives in submission to the teachings of the word of God. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the Lord's word will never pass away. 